Coming up on Mountain News this morning, bikers hit the streets of Corbin to raise awareness for an organization close to their hearts. And an event in Johnson County inspires people from our region and beyond to take part in some outdoor activities. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Moving along on a Monday. Hi, Jim Freeman in at 534. Hey, let's check in with weather. Meteorologist Shane Smith is here. Shane, it's the uh, the Veterans Day today here, I guess, the, the older fellas. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. at least one older fella. How's that? Well, they, they, they dragged us out of the... Uh, out out here to uh, do the weather and the news today, and I'm glad to be here. Oh, and, me too. Uh, the forecast looking a little bit soggy. Got a lot to talk about this morning. Let's get right to Pinpoint Doppler. You can see that rain is coming down, especially down around I-75 this morning. We'll head that way in just a second. Don't want to neglect our friends up in Wayne County, West Virginia. You've got a couple of heavier showers heading your way from Louisa back up towards Wayne right now. Let's jump on down towards Corbin. A little bit of light rain extending from Girdler back up towards Bush over towards Burning Springs in Clay County. Uh, London, some light rain, a little bit of moderate to heavy rain just north of Mount Vernon. Uh, that'll be heading over into Jackson County here in the next little bit and a pretty decent little cell there between Science Hill and Somerset. Uh, that also lifting to the east, northeast. That'll be rolling across I-75 and Mount Vernon here in about the next 20 to 30 minutes. You can see we've dealt with the rain off and on through the overnight and some of those cells starting to pick up in intensity and I suspect that's going to be the case for most of the day today. A little bit of fog in the Kentucky River Valley. Let's take a quick look at some of our cameras across the region. You can see a little bit soggy there over at Mount Vernon. Not seeing much rain, but some fog here at Hazard. And as we head over towards Whitesburg, you can see they're seeing dry conditions for right now. Temperatures into the mid 60s. We're topping it out in the mid 70s today. But folks want to keep that umbrella handy, Jim. We'll take a look at a soggy seven day forecast here in a few minutes. Okay, Shane, thank you. You're going to need the rain gear for sure. Bikers hit the streets of Corbin during the weekend, not only to take advantage of the great weather, but to raise awareness for an organization close to their hearts. WYMT's Alyssa Williams stopped by the Kentucky Children's Miracle Network Bike Run to learn more. Coming together to cruise for a cause. I recently got a new motorcycle and I thought, what the heck, give everybody an excuse to ride, right? Do a ride for the children. On Saturday, several bikers gathered in Corbin for the Kentucky Children's Miracle Network bike run. Building awareness, that is 100% our goal is to build awareness. You know, the donations is nice, but it's really not about the money. It's just about the awareness and just getting together as a community. For the events organizer, Harlan Lockhart, he knows how important causes like this are. It's just always been a passion for me. I have a special needs child and we got help when he was little and so it's just really tugs on my heart, so it's, it's just a passion that we have. Along with raising awareness for CMN hospitals, this gathering also shows everyone that beyond their tough exteriors, many bikers have a soft spot for their communities and the people within them. I mean, any excuse to get out and ride is a good one. Anytime you can raise money or awareness for a charity, I think that's, uh, that's great. That's why I enjoy the community. Hoping to help kids one bike run at a time. It's a great feeling, like the tingly feeling that you get when you know you're doing something right. That's that's what it's all about. In Corbin, Alyssa Williams, WYMT Mountain News. Thanks, Alyssa. Bike run organizer Harlan Lockhart says he hopes this event is the first of many bike runs for Kentucky Children's Miracle Network hospitals. The Perry County Fair wrapped up during the weekend. Fair board members say this year's fair brought fun for all, including live animals, numerous arts and craft vendors, and even several stunt performances. Those with the fair say after everything Perry Countyans have experienced during the past year, it felt good to offer an event people could enjoy. It has been great. We know all these people that have been through the floods, uh, have had winds, um, and then the recent fire in downtown Hazard. Uh, we just really wanted to have a place for them to come and forget all that's been going on and just enjoy the day with their families. Live music and stunt performances helped wrap up the last evening of the fair. The Johnson County Trail Town Committee hosted its third annual Trail Day on Saturday. The event invited locals and people from out of town alike to take part in several events focused on adventure tourism, whether hiking, biking, kayaking, ATV trails, or even just cruising eastern Kentucky back roads. Johnson County Judge Executive Mark McKenzie says it's important to let everyone know everything these trail systems offer. 
we put a lot of time and resources in the last few years into really trying to make our all of our trails as accessible as possible um, so that people can get out and enjoy them. We've got a lot of great stuff here in Johnson County, a lot of great trails um, that, that even I think some of our residents don't realize we have. And so we're really trying to push that out to make sure they're aware of that because we all need to be telling the story of everything we have to offer here in Johnson County. The trail day finished up in downtown Paintsville with an ATV parade, food trucks, and live music. People in Pikeville also hit the trails during the weekend. Together with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, the city of Pikeville hosted its first ever river run on the Pikeville River Trail. Although penalty, uh, plenty of first responders were also in attendance to make sure everyone was safe. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Conservation Officer Stone Harris and Pikeville's Director of Outdoor Recreation, P.J. Collins, say the main goal was to teach Eastern Kentuckians how to enjoy the river in a safe manner. A big emphasis is, is water safety, just to um, teach everybody the, you know, the safe way to utilize the river and also just to, again to bring awareness to the fact that we have a river right here in our backyard um, that really is beautiful. Officer Harris and Director Collins say they hope that this event will be an annual one and that folks had a great time floating on the Levisa Fork. Lots of people enjoyed the beautiful weather this weekend by spending time outside. Maybe you went to the local pool or even out on a boat. As Samantha Valentino shows us, dozens of people in Lexington hit the Kentucky River, but not for the reason that you might think. For close to 30 years, people have been coming together at the very bottom of Fayette County to clean up the Kentucky River. We have volunteers who've been coming for 10 or more years, and a lot of them bring their own boats, kayaks and canoes. They bring their all sorts of boats. The city also provides boats, including some from the Lexington Fire Department. So we send people out on boats with litter pickers and trash bags and gloves, and they basically just pull trash out of the river. Jennifer Myatt with the city of Lexington says they host this event every June as a way to start the summer off with a clean river. And what's kind of cool is that sometimes people come back in and they've seen the river and it's neat, but they don't have a lot of stuff with them and they're like, I couldn't find any trash. But that's good because every year we do it, we have less and less trash that we find. Myatt says this means people are littering less and getting better about cleaning up trash, which is important, partially because the Kentucky River is the source of Lexington's drinking water. We want to keep our environment healthy. We want to keep our water clean. And so it's important to bring people out and let them see firsthand that we do have a river and that it is important to pick up trash and keep things clean. In Lexington, Samantha Valentino, WKYT. Thank you, Samantha. Nearly 100 volunteers showed up for the river sweep. Just ahead this morning, a big name from the Terminator series joins the cast for the final season of the hit show, Stranger Things. We'll have the tales in just a few minutes. And you'll want to grab the umbrella as you head out the door this morning. Showers and a few thunderstorms likely today. We'll track it using FutureView on the other side of the break.